All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode. And today we are cleaning the van because it is absolutely filthy. Um, I just spent seven days with my buds down here and they only have a little car to come down here in. So we had to stay in a tent and they had to put all their gear in here in the meantime. For those seven days, this was like a storage area. Mr. Fred was just basically completely storage and we chilled in there quite a bit because it was dusty and it was rainy and there was mud and it's, it's filthy. My clothes are filthy, the floor is filthy, the walls are filthy, everything is filthy. So today I'm doing a whole bunch of laundry. I'm getting a bunch of stuff cleaned up, water filled, propane filled, get back to how it normally is and yeah, <laughs> get stuff going. So first up, laundry mat, get stuff not so stinky. Got one load going. Freaking seven dollars and fifty cents for a load, bro. That's crazy for the big one. Now I gotta get this this stuff figured out. Get it going. <laughs> oh, it's so gross in here, man. And then I can come out here and clean. <laughs> and then I've got a whole bunch of stuff on me that's absolutely filthy. Like my hair. But I can't wash that yet. Look at that, dude. I need a shower really bad. It's been too long. So sad. Ooh. It's been on for a while. I can smell you. Oh gosh, I also have to find a place for garbage. Besides doing laundry and trying to clean out the van today, I also need to figure out what the frick I'm gonna do. Because believe it or not, over the past like two weeks, my plans have just flip-flopped constantly. <laughs> like I was planning on a whole bunch of different stuff and stuff has flip-flopped and changed and I'm fine with it, but I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do now. So, like I said, I'm still in Joshua Tree, the town of Joshua Tree, California right now. And I need to get somewhere else because I've, I've done everything there is to do here. I want to go down to the Salton Sea. I've explored Palm Springs with my friends. If you guys haven't seen that video already, which will be my previous video, my, my last one, go check that out right now. I want to go past Palm Springs down to the Salton Sea, explore like that area. But I just got to figure out how I want to get there and go away where there is actually a shower because I already showed you my hair, bro. It's, it's, it's time. It's definitely time. I also need breakfast. <laughs> time to do some sweeping because it's filthy in here. Hard still clean when you live in dirt, man.
that said 10 minutes like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Still on 8. This one's almost done though. We're getting there. My sleeping bag was not dry, but I put it in for another 10 minutes, so should be dry by then. It was pretty close, but dude, I don't have anywhere to dry stuff in my van. I mean, look at this. Does that look like I have much room to dry clothes? No. Mm, boom, look at that. Beautiful bed again. There was a little bit wet in there, but it really wasn't too bad, so it'll dry out by the end of the day. But look at that. Oh, oh, the fan is clean. I just gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do next. Okay, after doing some research, I've decided I'm heading to Anza Borrego Desert State Park. It's right around Borrego Springs in Southern California, just west of the Salton Sea. So it looks pretty cool. Apparently there's supposed to be a lot of wildflowers out in the spring and it's spring. So we'll go check it out, see what there is. It looks pretty sick, but the most important part of this whole thing is along the way, there should be showers. And I want a shower, man. Oh, it's been like 10 days. It's been like 10 days. But yeah, the plan is to get gas, get propane, and then go to Borrego Springs. Ooh. Propane very first. Okay, that was awesome. That guy gave me the propane for free because it was not very empty. <laughs> it's probably like a dollar's worth of propane, which is like a third of a gallon. And he's just like, dude, that's not even enough for me to charge you. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much, man. So I've got probably a 45 minute drive ahead of me to a gas station just outside of Borrego Springs. It's the cheapest gas station around, so that's the goal. I guess this, this video is probably gonna be a pretty good representation of what it's like a uh, day in the life of living in a van when you have to prepare stuff and move around because I've been pretty much stuck in like Joshua Tree for like five days now and now I'm finally getting out. So it's refilling all my stuff, doing my laundry, doing chores and then getting the heck out of town. So it's kind of interesting, I guess, seeing this is what a day looks like trying to get stuff going and making sure stuff is ready. It's like, it's like uh, at home, you know, you gotta pay your water bill, you gotta pay your gas bill and stuff. It's like, I gotta go get gas. I gotta go uh, fill up on water, do my laundry. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing, I guess. I talked to my grandma and grandpa. Well, I went and visited them earlier in this trip. And they said Borrego Springs is one of their favorite areas. So hopefully it's cool. I'll definitely have to take some pictures and send it to them. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's there. I know there's like a ton of big metallic statues and stuff. So we'll check that out. That's for sure. And um, it's a big wildflower area. I'm pretty sure I said that already, but we'll definitely check out wildflowers if they're there. I don't know if this is the season or not. We'll see. We'll see. Today's a mystery, man. That's the best part. It's always a mystery. <laughs> I love the mystery. Dude, 
I, so right now I'm probably driving right near the Salton Sea. My guess is the sea is kind of that way. Salton Sea, it's just a lake. But uh, this place is a lot more green than I ever expected. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like a dry, really, really dry desert. But I mean, I know this is a farm, but like, bro, that is green. That is super, super green. Look at all the palms in the distance. I, and it's a farm, but like, still, that is green. And even over here, where it's not, that like over here is not a farm. Look how green all that is. I mean, that's pretty cool. I really did not expect that at all, so. It's interesting to me, this whole area, man. Because at home, where I live in Utah, it's like 30% humidity. And here, uh, when I looked this morning, it was 70% humidity. Like, this is way more of a desert than I thought Utah was, but I, I don't know, maybe it's not. I, it's kind of weird, like, this is not what I expected. I expected like dry, sandy desert, there's no moisture, kind of like Death Valley. Because it was like that Death Valley, but that out here is like humid. It's like, seriously, 70% humidity. Like, I, I have my AC on a little bit, and it's like humid coming in. I've never had that in this van before, so. That's kind of a cool little change up. I didn't expect it. If my hair wasn't so uh, greasy and disgusting, uh, it would probably be going pretty crazy and look cool. <laughs> but uh, maybe, maybe later today I can get a shower. You never know. Dude, there's the Salton Sea. I don't even know how to say it. Salton? Salton? Look at that thing. It's freaking huge, bro. Like, serious. That is insanely massive. Wow. Kind of hard to see it. But like it goes choo, as far as I can see. That's crazy. I, I want to visit that. That's really cool. Whew. This is the cheapest gas anywhere around. Gas around here is four dollars and eighteen cents a gallon. Everywhere else it's like four dollars and well almost six bucks. Four dollars and fifty six cents, something like that. around these parts okay baby back on the road and I just looked at I overlander and I found a shower yeah I found a place that has showers you of course you have to pay for them but um, it's like two dollars for ten minutes so I'll probably take like a 20 minute shower because it's been like ten days since I've taken a shower I'm needing a shower it's necessary at this point I will see you at the shower location before Borrego Springs here in 40 minutes Right here, dude. Look at that. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Showers. Brings a tear to my eye. It's been so, so long, man. Dude, I'm just scared they're not open because there's no one else around. Uh -huh. Closed for repair. Uh, oh. What? Where's the shower? Restroom? Oh, okay. Okay. We can work with that. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's better than absolutely nothing, dude. Oh, just gotta go find some quarters. <laughs> okay, coin machine. Let's see here. Come on now. Oh, please work. No. Dude. Quarter machine's broken. I don't have any quarters. Can't take a shower. But all hope might not be lost. There are some like weird stores or something that way. So maybe I can go over to them and exchange cash for some quarters if I'm lucky. 
We'll try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, you guys don't have quarters, do you? We do. Oh, thank you. Well, I got quarters plus all these maps and stuff and stickers. That's a win. That was, I'm glad the quarters were out over there. Got free stuff. Maybe not that one. Dude, it's nice and cool in here. It's hot out here. Back in Joshua Tree, where I started out this morning, it was like 45 degrees out, 40 degrees out. Out here, it's probably like 75. <laughs> so I will see you when I'm clean and I will be a whole new brownie. Clean. Ah, oh, you guys have no idea how good I feel right now. Just like clean. It's the first time in 10 days I've been clean. And I shaved my neck and stuff and trimmed my sides. Dude, if you know how taking a shower when you get home from work, you like go take a shower and it just feels so nice. Imagine that, but like 20 times. I haven't taken a shower in 10 days days and in that time i've been camping and hiking and getting sweaty every day and sleeping in a tent and being in the mud dude <laughs> this feels amazing look at my hair it moves on its own I, look at that <laughs> oh i don't even it, mm. i think i need to edit videos and get some videos uploaded answer emails answer messages take care of stuff bank account stuff because for the week that my friends were here. I didn't get to do absolutely any of that. I like messaged a few people on Instagram and that's like it. And since then I've got a lot of important emails to figure out and stuff. So I got to get that going, man. It's nice having my friends around. I really did enjoy it. That was a great time. We did some cool stuff. It's time to get some stuff rolling again. But first, before I do that, it's time for some lunch. I bought a loaf of bread like three weeks ago and I still haven't ate all of it. It's like, ha I mean, look at that. It's like halfway gone. And uh, I'm afraid it's going to go bad before I eat it all. So the tuna is going to have to wait for a few days until I can knock some bread down. <laughs> Good as it gets. Oh, dude, I cannot believe how warm it is out here compared to where I was today. It's legit inside the van it's 93 that's what my temperature thing says but the weather says it's like 70 75 legit until today the warmest it's been in the past like week has been like 60 with clouds i gotta pull over for a second there <clears throat> there are some incredible cactus things i don't really know what they are i kind of know what they are but they're blooming and it is beautiful it's time to go see these for a second. If you look around, all over there's these big, tall, cactus-looking tree things. And they're all blooming. See? Look at the bloom, man. Even the leaves are so pretty. Just look at that whole plant. And there's just hundreds of them. These may look like cactus. Well, they don't really look like a cactus right now with the leaves. But anyways, most of the time, there are no green leaves on any of these plants. And the only reason there's green leaves is because it rained recently. So I read this in like a state park or something or a visitor center. but. Basically, every time it rains, all these plants, they sprout these little leaves for like a week and then they fall off. So within the last week, it has rained. And it's looking like there's a ton of leaves. I mean, that is just beautiful. Look at that, it's incredible. And it's also spring, so there's all these blooms on here. But yeah, um, this is actually, this plant is actually related to the rose bush, believe it or not. I mean, that, has beautiful flowers like a rose and there's little uh eh, you probably can't tell 
there's little thorns like right there you can see the thorn yeah it's like a like a rose bush but it is just an absolutely beautiful plant look how many there is dude just like the whole landscape is covered in them it's wild look how pretty that is gorgeous huh anyways onward farmer's market baby you know i gotta go to that let's go see what this place has to offer i probably won't buy nothing but you never know might be cool i love farmer's markets basically the farmer's market ended up being something that wasn't really a farmer's market it was more of like a farmer's market art show type thing but all of the art was like really weird and i could not afford a single piece of artwork there even though there were some cool things like these cool rugs here and eventually with the lack of funds i had that led me to this metal garden show i was talking about this earlier how there's like a bunch of metal art around and this is like a little teeny example of what is actually out in borrego springs a bunch of people just make like these weird art sculptures out of all this metal they weld it all together and cut the shapes out and it's really quite creative and they make some really cool things like that are very creative and walking through here all of these are for sale and believe it or not they're all very affordable like that's cool man a few hundred bucks for these i would have thought thousands of dollars but they were only a few hundred bucks for each one of these things i think the most expensive one was this carriage with the horses and everything and it was like a few thousand which i would have thought the metal would have cost that much so it's a pretty good deal but as the metal art ran out that brought me to this little botanical garden which i walked around saw all the super cool plants in the area i am a sucker for plants so i was able to spend quite a bit of time in there it's cool seeing it all and that brought me back to the van where I got to keep going for the day. Woo! Okay. Well, farmer's market was definitely cool, but uh, not really the stuff I'm interested in. It's a lot of artwork. And uh, yeah, I got way, way distracted looking at plants and gardens and stuff. It was cool, but like, yeah. That took way longer than I thought. Time to go to the library. They have free Wi-Fi that is apparently lightning fast. And it's time to edit some videos. <laughs> Probably for the rest of the night. I think I'm gonna be here for a while. Editing. It's not necessarily what I want to do, but it's what I'm gonna do because I need to do it. You know what I'm saying? duty calls you know you know i gotta do boring stuff if y'all want to see my videos oh dude it feels so nice to have clean hair like it moves oh my goodness <laughs> it's so nice it is so nice man mm. just editing some videos you guys have already seen this one by the time that this video's on. That's crazy. This is the the propane one. This is the prump one, the Ash Meadows. Yeah. That's what it looks like editing. Kind of cool. That was a dollar and five cents. So this is... I use uh, DaVinci Resolve because it's free to edit my videos. And it's a it's a process, man. It's a, I don't do any crazy editing compared to a lot of people, but... I try to like throw some cool stuff in there. It still takes forever, man. This video right now is 30 minutes and, let's see here, what does it say? 30 minutes and 52 seconds. Some of the videos I, like I'm pretty sure this video when I put all the footage into it, it was like two hours worth of footage. So I've legit, like filming takes so much more work than what you, you see. Like I legit filmed two hours of footage and you see maybe, maybe 30 minutes of that. I put a lot of work into this stuff, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I know you do. I know a lot of you enjoy this, but it's cool to like, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Also, I would love to hear some of your opinions about YouTube on a job application. Just like, I was thinking about this the other day. Like if I was to fill out a job application and I put like, I'm a YouTuber or I have a YouTube channel and I create content on there. As an employer, let's, let's just say that you guys are the employers. Would you look at that and be like, nah, that's kind of weird. Or would you like be like, oh, that's, uh, 
that could be good because to me i've been like embarrassed of it you know i kind of like i don't know i don't think people see youtube as a real a real job by any means but then i'm thinking about it and like bro a video takes me like 12 hours to edit i just i'm out here in the most beautiful pristine country in the entire united states and instead of being in there i have enough self-control to sit inside of my van that is by the way not all that comfortable look at me and edit videos for 12 hours straight put all of this work into her there between editing between filming between planning answering comments and then traveling all the while like that, that like there's a lot of stuff that goes into these videos and a lot of dedication for very little return like for me the amount of work i put into this and the money i get back out is like basically nothing like if i was working a job right now i'd say i'd put like 30 or 40 hours a week into youtube making youtube videos so at the minimum i wish people saw that because i don't think i don't think the general consensus is like i don't think the general knowledge is like that's what it takes and i didn't i personally didn't know that i didn't i didn't think about that so if like if i was to put that on a job application would you guys as an employer see it that way or would you see it as like he just went and screwed off in the woods and made videos about it and stuff I, I, i'm really seriously interested about that so make sure you leave a comment and like what what do you think about that like i don't know that it's really interesting it's too pretty outside for editing videos for just a second just a second That was a good sunset. Only problem is I got cactus stuck in my foot for a second. I don't know if you can probably not see it, but I got some little pokies stuck. Fell out, but there was a cactus stuck in my foot right there. Didn't feel too good. Look, it's one of these things, man, that are laying everywhere. Right there. Watch, now I'm going to get it stuck in my finger, trying to show you. One of those. Look at that thing. Yikes. They're everywhere out here. From those cactuses. Them cacti right there. Hmm. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Holy cow. Can't stop looking at that. Okay. Back to editing. You know, if I'm editing anywhere, at least I'm editing... Like, in my beautiful van, bro. I mean, look at look at how nice that wood is. I can't complain about all that. And also, the temperature. I mean, the whole setup, it really is not that bad. I'm just a little whiny baby sometimes. It is a lot of work, but you know what? It pays off. It's like, I don't know, it's satisfying. I really like this. So, don't get me wrong when I say that it's a lot of work. Because I enjoy this. It makes me happy. Okay, it's dinner time. It's like 8.30 at night. I got way carried away with editing. But, um, I'm getting hungry now. I was like, why am I so hungry, dude? Yeah, it's 8.30 at night. That's why. I'm cooking mac and cheese with some sausage. Okie dokie, there we go. There's some sausage. Pour my milkies in there. Dude, I'm actually hungry. It's, it's probably almost nine o'clock now. <laughs> I've been cooking for like half an hour-ish. 
Probably not quite yet, but it's getting there. That's for certain. Fresh mac and cheese, fresh-ish sausage, but it's now cooked, so it's delicious, promise. I haven't tasted this yet at all. Heavenly. Conquered, as usual. Hey, you. First night back in my own bed rather than a tent. Oh. Feels good. 11 o'clock at night, a little after 11 o'clock. I'm gonna wake up probably 6.30 or 7. So I will see you first thing in the morning. Good night. Good morning from Borrego Springs, California. <sighs> Good morning from Borrego Springs, California. With a beautiful Beautiful sunrise. Look at that. Mmm. All right, y'all. This is going to wrap up this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of work into it. Uh, it's pretty fun to make, honestly. I enjoyed a lot of what happened in this video. It was really cool getting getting down into Borrego Springs. I didn't know what to expect, but I can tell you right now, it's a nice place. Plus, getting that shower, man, made the whole part of this video amazing <laughs> for me personally so if you like this video go ahead and leave a comment tell me what you think if not do the same thing i guess i don't know and if you haven't already make sure to go check out rattlesnake clothing company i draw up designs on my ipad and i put them on clothing so if you're interested in that go check it out i've got a whole bunch of new desert designs up on there uh i pretty much just drew the places that i've been traveling so it's kind of cool because it's like the place i traveled i drew in my own artistic way and now you can get them on a t-shirt so if you're interested in that go check it out i'll leave a, a link in the description i'll see you all in the next video i've got some really cool ideas coming up this is a cool area so watch out for some future videos i will see you all next week thanks for watching